guys, welcome back to Let's Play, um, <laughs> I almost said Dagon Rob because I've been playing a lot lately. No, we are playing Dawn of the New World. Last time, we got to the Izuld, the silliest named city in the entire game. I'm still, <laughs> I want to know who named Izuld and what they were thinking. But okay, let me look at the leadheads real quick and then I'll talk some more. Well, there is a lot in her head. The lead could contaminate the local supply of drinking water. Huh? I must admit my surprise. I would never have imagined rain to be made of metal. If that's the case, it might be possible to classify her as a new breed of monster. So he doesn't understand analogies then. Like, that's the problem with Tinderbrae. I don't actually know how much of what he says he is him trying to be funny, and how much of it he just legitimately doesn't get it. Okay, where's the door? How do I leave? That's a window. Yes, cancel save. Like, this should be the door. Oh, it's right there. Lol. It blended with the wall, and I was very confused. Um, but anyway... Oh, it's back. You should be back to this game, although I've kind of forgotten what the hell I'm doing. So we're looking for an arsonist. I, I do have to wonder if it's Regal, because they just... The only thing I know about the arsonist is that he's really big, and he's locked up. I bet he's still locked up. I can see that. Yes, that is very burned. Hello there. Welcome to Deep Blue. Oh. You're not important. Do you have any ingredients for me? Go ahead and grab... I like to have five of everything on hand. And then... There are, are some general things in here. Are any of them better than what I've got? That is... That is... <laughs> oh, that sounds adorable! Ma mage mittens! <laughs> I don't know why that cracks me up as much as it does, but it totally does. I got one that was better. Apparently not. Why is that blue? <laughs> I'm so, every single time I see it, <laughs> mange mittens. I thought I just bought a white ribbon because it was better than what I had. I feel like this game is lying to me, you guys. He was so hopeful too. I feel so sorry for Emil. What is going on here? Well done, you found me on this year's gourmet, the Wonder Chef. I don't know how, what it is about him, but for some reason, I've never forgotten his voice ever. I always, I've just always remembered exactly the way I voiced him the previous time. It's the same voice. I to give you this as proof. Use it well. Sashimi. Now then, farewell. So where is this arsonist? Because that's the thing, I need to find a guy that's locked up. Does not appear to be in here. Eight, nine, ready or not, here I come. Are we playing hide and seek? 
Man, hide and seek is a terrible game to play in this. But there's, there's. Holy crap! Calm down, calm down, phone. Um, it's like there's like nowhere in there to hide. You need to play hide and seek in the village. So there's at least options. And that house is like, well, you're not here, so you must be here because that's all the house we got. <laughs> Okay, so where... What? I actually just want to go in your house. I guess I can't. Um, I'm a little bit perpuzzled. Because I think I've been to the entire city. Is there, is there some area I'm missing? Have I been in here? Okay, there's someone inside. So why do you think... I'm trying to remember who told me. Okay, there we go, there we go. F found it! Sorry, buddy. No ships are going to be leaving port anytime soon. I'm sorry, that lanky guy should not have a voice that's sorry, buddy. That, that that voice belongs to someone that's much heftier. Why not? Well, you must have heard about that last fire we had. That arsonist must be on the loose again. I just checked the jail and he's still there. If we shipped out now, he might escape by pretending to be one of the passengers. What are we supposed to do if we're in a hurry? Not to mention that um don't you know what the arsonist looked like considering you arrested him? We just had another fire, and you're in a hurry to leave town? Seems a little fishy to me. I would say he's a little kid, dude, except Janice is kind of like maturing now. What did you say? Why don't you try saying that to my face, smart guy? Wow. Ratatos mode does not like being accused of being an arsonist, which is weird because for a meal that would make sense because, you know, Palma Costa was burned. Um, uh, but why does Ratatosk care so much? What? If you're saying you're not, then... Then what? You know what this reminds me of? This is actually really well done. Um, but it kind of reminds me, if you guys have ever seen... how oh, what is the name of that movie? Um... Crud. Anyway, the... Um, you start off and Ratatosk mode, you, you kind of dislike Emil and you like Ratatosk mode, and as the game keeps going, Ratatosk mode continues, like, starts to push too far, and you start, like, you start feeling sorry for Emil because of what he's stuck in, and you start feeling really unsure and concerned about Ratatosk mode as time goes on. Emil, stop it! I... <laughs> you can't go into Ratatosk mode here. Apologize to the guy. Well, it's not like Emil can choose to go or not go. Right. I'm very sorry. On the plus side, if apologize is required, Emil is really good at that. Yeah, sure. So, back to the arsonist. Let's find him. Once we do, we can leave on the ship. Yeah. Let's check out the jail first to see if we can find any clues. Yeah. What's wrong with me? Um, you're being possessed by Ratatosk, who is totally not a monster. Not at all. There's a lot of fires, apparently. Hey, Marta, does Emil really go into Ratatosk mode this often? Hmm, I don't think it used to happen quite so much. I wonder if there's something keeping him on edge. Maybe having my sister and me around all the time is stressing him out. I don't think that's it, but I'll ask him. Okay, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> ask if he's really stressed out because of us. Are we intimidating him? I, I can see how I can be intimidating you know, I'm a master mage and everything. Oh, I'm still trying to remember the name of that dang movie. Basically, it was a, it was a movie where at the very, very, very beginning of it, um... 
the, you know, you have this husband and some robbers break into their house and, you know, like, kill his wife and his kid. And so he swears revenge, and you're kind of with him for most of the movie, except after he gets revenge on the people that killed his family, he, like, goes after their lawyer, and then he goes after the, like, judge in the trial, and then he goes after the DA, and, you know, and by the end, he's, like, trying to, you know, blow up the Senate, or, like, the city council, and, you know, it, as the movie goes on, you're just eventually like, dude, whoa. And it's just this really great shift over time where you start off on his side and you slowly turn against him. The same place, right? Yeah. Kitty! No one wants to hear you. You're here, and you weren't here before. Excuse me. I was wondering if you could tell us anything about the escaped arsonist. Huh? The arsonist escaped? So I said, we, we just looked. Don't be ridiculous. He's still there. See for yourself. Is it Regal? Uh, he is. It's not gonna show me. Damn it. What's going on here? Oh, granted, I, it probably isn't Regal because we've already got two Tales of Funny people in our party. We can't, we can't have a third. If the arsonist is still here, then the latest fire must have been started by someone else. Are we sure it wasn't Ratatos mode? Do you mind if we have a word with the criminal? Sure, but be careful. Why? Does he have a like a lot a great ability to lie to you? Oh, so you have to walk in. Wait, why is there a guard outside if there's a guard inside? He may have fancy clothes and nice manner. That felt dangerous. Careful around him. Kitty. I don't see anyone in there. But I guess that's where he must be. It is Regal. Okay, I'm smart. Regal. It actually is Regal? Wow, I've been saying Regal the whole time. I don't I I how did they change his pronunciation or have I just been wrong forever? Brain. Genus. What are you doing here? should be asking you. Yeah, he really likes being in prison. He's good at it. I'm embarrassed for you to see me like this. Is this a friend of yours? Yes, this is Regal Bryant. He was with us in the journey of world regeneration. Uh, I'm even more convinced, because I, I was already kind of convinced that the arsonist wasn't an arsonist, since the fires were still breaking out. He's also the president of the Lazareno Company. Lazareno? But they're huge. Why would their president be starting fires? Because they recently got into the insurance business, and people aren't taking up insurance, so they're going to start. So, Regal, tell us, what happened? To be honest, I don't really know myself. I, I'll get used to it, but yeah, that is definitely not his voice. I was in town on business when I happened to meet a man named Berg, a gel maker who said he'd seen Lloyd. I'm trying to remember if we know Berg. Was he in Symphonia? While we were speaking... I suddenly found myself engulfed by this strange light, and just like that, I blacked out. When I came to, the building was in flames, and Berg was lying unconscious. I grabbed him and ran outside. Where you were arrested and blamed for all the fires. Well, at this point, this town's in a state of witch hunt. Exactly. But I had nothing to do with any of it. Of course, we would never think you would. So you wouldn't know anything about the most recent fire? What? There was another fire? We're looking for the person that started it. It's, it uh, I don't know why they're looking for this. They, they have to know that it's related to... Uh, well, it wouldn't be related to Ignis, so it's probably related to... Huh. Because we've already got the fire and the water one. I don't know who it would be related to, but it may be an actual arsonist then. I was thinking it had something to do with the core, but we've already got the fire core and the water core. is one of the most cowardly crimes. If I could leave this prison, I would gladly join you in your search. The man you met, Berg, he didn't vouch for you? Unfortunately, he's still out cold. He may have inhaled a lot of smoke during the fire. So we have to get him back. Hey, Marta, do you think you might be able to use healing arts to help Berg? Hmm, I'm not sure, but it's worth a shot. <laughs> I don't like healing people, but I guess if you ask. 
Then let's go. If we can get him to wake up, maybe we can clear Regal's name. Good idea. Let's do that. Okay. I heard Berg was taken to his house. Please, do anything you can. We will do our best to do our duty. Hey, Genus, could you tell me a little about Regal? Well, they already did. He was when he traveled with us on the journey of world regeneration two years ago. He's the type of guy you can always depend on. And as president of the world famous Lazareno Company, he's well respected. Well, not everywhere. But he was a prisoner the first time we met him, too. What? To enjoy being locked up. Well, he does walk around in manacles the whole time. I think you might be onto something there. It's mentally exhausted. We have to do something and quickly. That is, uh, Regal's such a nice guy. Because he could totally just kick that door off its hinges without really struggling. Okay, so. Where would this person be? The, I like this quest. I like this aside because that's the one thing that because there's no world travel I was a little concerned that the game would ultimately be too dungeon focused but they they're doing a pretty good job of interspacing non dungeon elements between it um, what do you think from the looks of it he might have been poisoned by a light frog is that that light that sorry my cat attacked me with his forehead but is that that light that engulf Regal would be a light frog? A light frog? Ah, uh, yes, that's what you humans call it. What strange names you have for things. Yes, this man has been infected by the poison of the Nasdrovier, the monster your people call the light frog. Nasdrovier? Nasdrovier? Light frog? It sounds like it, it's, it's like you guys are speaking different languages. Nasdrovier? Is the proper term. Light frog is the term you humans call it. Well, why is why is your term the proper term? What are you some sort of expert in monster? Never mind. The Nasdrovier absorbs high amounts of energy and releases it in a burst of light and heat. It's enough to knock out any creature that touches it. Light and heat. Then that must be what's causing all the fires around here. It must be the light frog. Nasdrovier! Marta, pay attention. It's called the Nasdrovier. If I remember correctly, the light frog is a rare species that only lives near Flanor. So, so, dang it, this is what happens whenever you bring pets around. Nasdrovier. <laughs> and also, what do the elves call it? Azul has a trade route with Flanor. The creatures could have arrived in cargo bound for here, then flourished due to the unusual weather conditions. So assuming this is the result of light frog poison, an antidote ought to cure him, right? Nasdrovier! <laughs> Jenna Bray, you already acknowledged that we have a different term for it. Unfortunately, there's no antidote for the light frog's poison. It's more of a viral infection rather than a venom. I love how everyone just sort of looks at Jenna Bray, shrugs, then carries on with what they're doing. And they're gonna turn and say Nasdrovier. Tenebrae, you're giving in? Oh, dang it. That's what I would have done. Nasdrovier! Just leave me alone. But where do we find some rosemary? I have to say, Tenebrae has the best way of ending an argument ever, just dissipating into nothing. That's like the ultimate door slam. It used to grow wild in the Camberto Caves, but I heard it became extinct with the recent climate changes. Great. What do we do now? Well, we know what caused the fires. Let's explain the situation so we can leave by ship. But what about Berg? And we can't just leave Regal in jail like that. I don't like it either, but the most important thing right now is to find the Centurion's cores as soon as possible, correct? Rain, how could you say something like that? It's interesting that Rain is more committed to our quest than we are. It's our only choice. We've done everything we can here. But... I can't just ignore someone who's suffering right in front of me. It's because you're a decent person. Then what do you propose we do? Keep in mind that Lloyd could be taking the Centurion's cores as we speak. And what if he plans to use the cores to hurt others? Rain! 
I can't believe you. Wasn't Lloyd your student? Your friend? Wait, what? What does that have to do with anything? I admit leaving Regal is like kind of a jerk move, but wanting to go out and stop Lloyd, or like learn the truth of Lloyd, Lloyd has nothing to do with him being... What? What? I'm merely pointing out a possibility. Oh, okay. I say we find a cure. I was gonna say, I hope Emil's talking to himself. I guess he could be talking to Genus. And how exactly do you plan on doing that? Please, you don't even have the means. We just have to find it in those damn Camberto caves. How can you be so sure that they're all gone? And what about the Centurion's cores? Shut up. We're the ones who need to find all the cores. What do you care? I mean, honestly, at this point, here's the real answer that Ronathaus should be giving. It should be like, look, we already know... Sorry, I need to use the rest of the voice. Look, we already know that Lloyd has one of the Centurion cores. What do we care if he gets more? I mean, we're ultimately going to have to fight him in order to get the one he already has anyway. So if he wants to save us some time by getting more of them, then, less, then more power to him. You are a man. Now you're a man. I think she was trying to provoke Emil on purpose. She was setting a hypothesis to see if she could bring out Ratatosk by what causing stress. I don't know. I know, I just said. You should listen to me, Janus. Janice is jealous. You think she'd be used to this by now. It's like, you can't get mad at people for being a little freaked out by ruin mode. She just, she denies she even has it. Let's go save, and then I we don't have a lot of time. We have a little bit of time. We'll see what we can get done. But I'm definitely not getting through the cave this episode. Can you leave that alone? I hate when my cats start getting into things whenever I'm recording because I can't really stop them very easily. So this is a this is a brand new location, guys. Some place we have never been. I loaded up some funny. We couldn't even find this place. Although this looks familiar-ish, it's almost like the entrance to the Elfwood. Doesn't seem to be any here. Let's keep going. Damn. Rain. Yes. You made a meal mad on purpose earlier. Why did you do that? Oh, I wasn't lying when I said I wanted to hurry our journey along. Rain! <laughs> Emile, you probably won't like this, but Lloyd once said something similar. But Emile hasn't said anything. Huh? Oh, you mean about... How can we go on a quest to regenerate the world if we can't even save the people standing right in front of us? Lloyd said that? 
Oh, Lord used to be a really decent guy. Come on, let's keep moving. And notice how she completely evades the question. Is it just me, or did she avoid the question entirely? Oh, just you. Definitely didn't happen. I definitely didn't say anything about that. Yeah. Why? Why not? Herbs. Has a lot of herbs. You're right. Herbs. I've never liked them much. Why is that? How can well, you not like herbs? Weed, for one thing, and they're usually too spicy or bitter for me. They just don't taste good. I guess you're still a child in that regard. Uh, I am. As you get older, you learn to appreciate the more bitter flavors. Tinnerberry likes some very bitter stuff. Darkness and bitterness are the two principal flavors of adulthood. Um, I don't think darkness is technically a flavor. In other words, since Tenebrae's the Centurion of Darkness, that means he's old. <laughs> I, I, I saw that coming. I was like, well, you should not say that, Tenebrae. That will not end well for you. Oh, I, th I want to get that. But apparently there is nothing to get. Hi there, monster. Will you be my friend? Why can't we be friends? Alright, go ahead and use that because why not? Alright, free healing. More free healing? Oh no, no more free healing. I thought she just cast Photon, so I thought she'd be good. There goes that. That is that. The monsters here are a little bit more intense than what I'm used to. Which is not bad, but it's certainly different. Alright. Fine, I guess I'll fight you. That guy was just all about being attacked by me. Well, and that fight was way easier for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. Oh, okay. Go up. Moving on up. Now we're moving on up, moving on up. Although, a hunting sword. That's probably good for a meal. Yes. That still leaves open the question of what we're supposed to do here. Because I do not actually see a way to go forward. Because there's nothing back here, correct? Oh, okay, that's that's what you do. I understand now. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't understand now. You can also go up here. Does this go anywhere helpful? A lot of dead ends in this place. It might smell good if you burnt it. Interesting. 
interesting. He's got a like mathematical formula on his on his side. Rain, what's the key to healing? I guess benevolence towards others. I think that's what you least have. <laughs> That was... I was expecting a little bit more of a challenge there. All that really happened is the guy came out and got, like, completely destroyed. I think it's usually up there. So now I have water. Water is needed. Is it? It doesn't look cold. Maybe it's because of the water running through here. It's really chilly. But it's not frozen. The water must not be that cold. It seems that way. Too cold one minute and too hot the next. Human beings are very inconvenient. Tenebrae, you are insensitive in every sense of the word. <laughs> How rude. I have senses too, I'll have you know. Do you get cold? Is that a thing for you? What sort of senses? For example, I can sense when it's dark, darker, or especially dark. That that's not a sense, really. That's an intuition. You're the centurion of darkness. That's your job. Oh, is that it? I was expecting it to go a little bit more. Okay. Well, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode because I do not see a very convenient save point. And it, it, it is time. Interesting. I don't know what that did, but hopefully it was something good. So that's going to get pulled this way because I made that flower move. And then hopefully it'll get stuck. Yes. That is indeed what happens. Alright, but yeah, I will be back next time in order to continue where we are currently. See you then, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in.